If you're asking yourself, do I really need another Klon? Take a look at tonight's episode and get that answer. Have you ever looked at all the gear musicians use and wonder, how does it all work? My name's Dustin and my family and I are setting out on a quest to inspire both adult and kid musicians to create new sounds together and learn all about what it takes to produce great music. We'd like to invite you along on the journey as we explore the gear professional studios, musicians, and hobbyists use to create their art. We'll take a close-up look at the gear and ask, What's this button do? Hello and welcome to this week's episode of What's This Button Do? I'm your host, Dustin, and today is the third of our four-part series on the new LSL pedals. And today we are going to be looking at the Lucid Overdrive. This is their homage to the classic Klon circuit, but... Being a huge Klon fan and a man who has played several over his lifetime, you guys have heard me demo several Klons on this channel. I am a Klon freak. This pedal does something that no other Klon um, that I have played really has achieved. And it's all in this magic tone knob. So rather than me ramble on about it, let's hop over to the pedal board, take a listen to it, and let you hear how it sounds. Join me over there. All right, everyone, it is time to get some Klon action going on. So we are using our LSL Satikoi, this beautiful grayish navy. It's just insane. Um, I'm going to be all over the pickups on here um, because you guys have heard several Klon demos from me. Um, we've done the Origin one a few weeks ago. Um, this is a different beast. That What they've done with the Lucid OD is take some of the inspiration from the classic Klon, but this has got a totally different sound to it and a different interaction. So I want you to hear how this is done. Now the layout seems very similar. You've got your volume, you've got your tone, you've got your gain settings. And what I've noticed is, I'm going to kick this on, we'll give you my clean tone here. I'm in position two on the guitar. Um, and when I click on this, you notice about nine to 10 o'clock. That seems to be just a clean you're not affecting the tone at all right there. Um, and that's got the gain turned all the way down and my tone right in the middle. Now, unlike a lot of tone knobs, this one is kind of reversed. So if I go all the way up on the tone, you're gonna notice this gets a little murkier. And all the way down on the tone knob, we open it up and bring in more trouble for you. almost treble booster-y. It's, it's really like really bringing in the honk. So it's really got a really cool EQ curve when we come back toward the middle. It's not highlighting the treble notes near as much. So on a traditional Klon, a lot of people will set it up like this, kind of boost their volume up, but leave the gain off. So you're getting just a slight treble boost. Almost clean boosty. And if we turn it back to the middle. You can hear how much difference this makes. This tone knob has such a cool EQ curve to it. There's a ton of different sounds along that spectrum where usually with some of the like Klon clones that I've seen out there, it's not really what you're getting out of the tone. You're, you're really just kind of tweaking it a little bit. This has got a massive curve from left to right. So you really just set your gain levels and your volume levels and then start tweaking the EQ to see if you get the sound that you want. Now, when we start introducing more gain to this, that's where it gets really interesting. As as we come up to like the nine o'clock realm, <laughs> more that that gets. I'm going to go down to the bridge pickup. Because there, since the bridge pickup's a little hotter, you're going to start pushing your amps a little bit more. And you can hear it's getting a lot gainier. So here's where we compensate by taking that tone knob down a little bit. Bring the gain up a little bit more. Oh, 
one knob all the way down. You can hear how thick, how chewy that is, but you're still getting those tone, those uh, treble frequencies through there, even though you're at maxed out gain. If we max out volume and game and keep our tone all the way down. So there you hear, if we, if we roll that tone back, if we've got the volume in the game maxed out, the further we bring that tone to the right, the more muddy your tone's gonna be and the more you're really gonna want to, unless you're trying to achieve that effect, you're gonna wanna keep that tone balanced more toward the left so that you're compensating for the extra gain and the extra push that it's giving you on your amps. So there's a lot that can be done with that EQ, but it's all about figure out where you wanna set your gain and your volume at, then start tweaking this to matching to get you that dialed in sound. So in this case, we've got it all maxed up. Let's roll this back up again. trouble let's bring it back right here so right in that area i'm feeling very happy i think that's how you really master this pedal is let your volume and your gain dictate that now the other thing that you'll notice i'm going to roll the gain all the way back i've got the volume all the way up and i'll leave my tone right about there watch what happens here <laughs> Bring by yourself back up to position two. If we're not introducing gain, we're just using it as a volume boost. You'll notice, even though I've got the tone almost toward the middle, we're still not losing a lot of the treble side. It's when you start bringing in gain that you really need to introduce more treble into the signal to compensate. But that's the beauty of this Lucid OD is you've got all this gain on tap, all this volume on tap, and then having this really responsive EQ curve frequency that you can dial in, there's just so much you can do to your sound. And it just, to me, has a little bit more oomph, has a little bit more character to it than a typical Klein that people are just using for either a clean boost or just as a hardcore like drive sound. I, I'm absolutely stunned by that. I like setting the volume kind of in the middle and then messing with my gain to get it where I want it. Because on solo notes, you really can make it sing. I'm gonna go back into the bridge. bring up a little bit more gain here. Then again, all the way up. What I love to bring up this volume, bring up the gain, bring your tone up all the way here. Could really cut through the mix on that. I'll bring that tone back just a little so we don't get ice picky.
just absolutely killer what you can do with that. The drives are there, the clean boost is there. I think they nailed the sound on this perfectly. I'm really, really impressed with what they're giving us here. So what do you think? I mean, the sustain on that last part just kills me. I, this is genuinely one of the best climb pedals that I've, I've had a chance to play. And this has only been my first week playing with them. I think once I start playing with these, using some other boosts and everything around it, um, and especially when you introduce some delays and things, this is going to fill out such an amazing frequency. I absolutely love it but you could hear it did that clean boost thing that so many people use a clon for it could do the high gainy stuff and it had that nice mid-level gain drive there's so much you can do here i think it, it really is one of those limitless pedals where i think some people are never going to take the gain up at all they're just going to use it as a boost some people are going to get gnarly with the gain maybe bring the volume back a little bit but that tone knob I, i'm not joking when i say just take your volume and your gain knob, get them where you like, and then start messing with the tone with your amp and see what sounds good. You'll find this magic spot. You'll hear it in your ears where suddenly the amp just comes alive when you hit that right notch on the tone button. Ah, just, I can't say enough good things about this. So once again, LSL have nailed it. So that's it for this episode. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you got some good sounds out of it. Um, and, and I hope this helps you to determine whether you need to try one out. Um, I, like I said, for the money, I think it is one of the best buys out there. Um, I know my friends at Palin still have them in stock. Um, I'll put a link to their website down below. Feel free to hit them up. Um, but it, it's definitely worth every penny, um, like I said before. I did not get these donated to me by LSL. This is not a paid advertisement. I bought these with my own money and I was just so wowed by them. I wanted to share them with you. So I hope this helps. If you've had experience with these, if you've got questions, drop me a line down below. I'm glad to answer them, shoot some other demos. I'm gonna be posting more stuff about this over on my Instagram. So come follow me over at what's this button do Dustin on Instagram and I'll be glad to answer questions over there and, and shoot extra videos if anybody has uh, wants to hear it like combined with some other pedals or in different amps, just let me know and I'll be glad to do that for you. Just drop your notes down below. Well, thank you so much for coming out this week. Next week, we're going to be finishing up the series with the OGOD, the uh, take on a Tube Screamer kind of circuit. And this thing, this thing is really, really, really interesting. So come join us next week. We'll take a listen to that. Thank you so much for coming out and spending your time with us this evening. Have a wonderful day and we'll see you soon. Take care.